AutoCS has filter options in the drafts, products, and order sections of their menu. The reason that you can filter out things is so that you can organize a whole bunch of products that you see in front of your screen and make whatever changes that you want. So for example, right now we're in the drafts page. Let's go ahead and add a filter. Let's say we want to see all of the items that we are buying from AliExpress. Okay, so show me all of the AliExpress items. So for this example, we have one, two, three, four, five items from AliExpress. Let's add another filter saying, I want to see all of the items which cost, which have a buy price or which cost more than $5. So now it'll show me all of the products from AliExpress, which cost more than $5. So we move from five products to four products. The next thing that you'll notice is once you have more than one filter, you will see this match all of or match any of. The difference between them is this. If it's set on match all of, then the results that I'm going to see down here is all of the products that we have from AliExpress and that they have a buy price of greater than $5. Both of the conditions have to be met in order to see the results down here. If we change from match all of to match any of, then it'll show me all of the products that are from AliExpress or that have a greater buy price than $5. Not and. It doesn't have to be both of them. One of them is enough. So if we click on match any, it's going to show me all of the products that I have on AliExpress that cost more than $5 which is obviously more than three or four. So that's the difference between match any and match all to help you sort out the items in a greater fashion. Now, if I click on X, it'll delete that certain filter. I can add more filters. I can add as many as I want. I can save them or I can clear it to start a new search. Now let's see how we can save a filter. So let's add any filter, for example, all of the items that we have from AliExpress. Here they are. So let's save this filter and call it AliExpress supplier filter. Save that. Close the filter that we made. Back to the drafts. And now every time you want to see the filters that you already saved, just go to the save filters over here and you'll see it. If you want to delete it right here on the three dots, so you can create as many filters as you want, and it can help you with things like product research, analyzation, and all those sorts of things. For more information on the filters and what each option does, you can check out our help section or in the link under this video. So that briefly sums up the filters option. Don't forget that it's different for the products and for the orders page. You're going to have different filter options, so go ahead and play around with that you're going to be able to organize your products and make all kinds of certain changes in a much more sophisticated way. So go ahead and take advantage of the filters. If you have any questions about that, we have a help section, which you will find in the links in the comments below. If you want to ask any questions, let me know below and I will personally answer them. We also have a live chat support open 24 seven. Plus, if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, you're going to learn a lot more around the world of dropshipping and about the AutoDS monitor itself. So check it out. See you next time.